what's what's up? So I saw that ESPN, what was that whiteboard Kirk Hi, uh Herb Street with them fake tears and them ESPN at the boat. Oh black lives and what we gonna do oh. Meanwhile, they had college football today. So much for pandemic. Why are they playing football? We got a real virus out here. Mm-hmm. Makes no sense. They still pimping off the plantation. Black players out there. How many schools got black folks who are profiting off of those colleges like these people are profiting? But I get Kirk Heim Street up there like, oh, oh. fake tears. Colin Kaepernick had hit that already. Knocked that out the park four years back. But you don't want to listen to him. He's too black. He got a big afro and he took a knee. And he just, he just, he was wrong. But now, Kirk Heimstrick up here giving an Emmy Award performance, Golden Globe, maybe an Oscar performance. They're all crying on TV. What can I do? And then the white dude chimes in, well, college, the Navy players that met with the police. <laughs> they are pathetic. ESPN ain't nothing but another plantation. Exploiting specially privileged, special purpose. Yeah. Extreme sports plague network. They can come up with a lot of different names that could describe them. Extremely, extremely spacious plantation against Negroes. I don't feel much about ESPN. I don't. Um, They've had racism on their network. Remember what Stuart Scott went through? They ain't never had nobody that's matched uh, the late great Ralph Wiley. And they pimp with Stephen A. Smith and others. You see what they do. Bohemi, Bohemi Jones Bowman comes on, has some intriguing stuff. They run him off. They ran black folks off. Mm hmm. I ain't trying to hear them with the fake crocodile tears. Kirk Hummer. Because Colin Kaepernick said it already. You already had a black man say it. Fake crying on ESPN ain't even is comical. This the same network who. Had Kurt Schilling get a job, and you know he's KKK, and you had to kink one of the wizards on there named Rush Limbaugh on your NFL sports, and he KKK. So am I supposed to believe that all of a sudden that y'all enlightened because y'all saw George Floyd and see Breonna Taylor and now Jacob Blake in a couple of situations, and now all of a sudden like, oh, we feel sorry. You don't make a dime on the college football game day without the backs of black folks that play for the network. Tens of millions of dollars. And let me tell you about them generic bowls. We're not even talking, we're talking about the, the Fruit of the Loom Bowl. You know, Water Buffalo Bowl. Some make-believe bowl for a six-win team that generates $8 million and those white dudes sitting there with them blazers on and they up there now and they make money off of black folks' backs. And I'm supposed to buy this turkey up here crying. Like, oh, oh, it's so just all. Oh. If you're so bad about it, I want you to quit your job. And then believe me, there's a brother or sister that's just as qualified to get your job, Kirk Heim, Heim Strike. But they ain't going to get it. Because you got a cushy position. And I don't want to hear them white boys up there talking about, well, Navy guys, we're trying to do something. Sports ain't done the ultimate. Sports didn't made it passable for you to root. But who is running the show? What do you see when you watch the show? I root for you from the stands. But when the game is over, you could get lynched. See? That's how it go. And that mindset, because you don't see no ownership. You don't see nobody in authority. Yeah, you see a lot of the players. It's like a plantation mindset. Hey, I'm not trying to hear this fake crocodile no done D turkey up here crying when they up there pimping. We got a pandemic. They shouldn't even be out there playing. And he out there playing and he up there crying. And yet them same black cats who get recruited 
from high school to come to inner cities and places to go play for these institutions and colleges and systematic racism, why do you think they get drafted? And then what happens if they don't have that name and the people ain't rooting for them? What do you think could happen in these streets? And I'm supposed to hear this turkey be like, oh, oh, I feel bad for black folks. Oh, and you feel so bad. Oh, put your money where your mouth is, turkey. You feel so bad. You don't feel bad. It's just that it's dawned on it that the reality didn't hit because you're seeing something that's been there over 400 years. But when Colin Kaepernick said somebody four years ago, you, tim- you thumbed your nose. I am not buying fake crocodile tears from nobody on no ESPN now or never. You want to impress me? Quit your job and let somebody black who is qualified to get the job. How come ESPN don't hire more black folks? I see four or five white folks and I see one black woman up in there. One. You white folks be in there getting them jobs. They sit there for years. You got to be a, a black player or somebody sitting there pretty much to get half that gig. Don't get me started by ESPN and their racist ways. All right, that's my thoughts and takes about uh, Kurt Harmstrich with them fake tears and ESPN's racist uh, trying to act like they all woke. <laughs> the Emily Lee Corson, all they can say that noise. All of them can say that noise from ESPN. You ain't woke because you didn't do right by Stuart Scott. And you haven't done right by Jamel Hill or Michael Smith. And I can go on, Bohemian Jones and all of them on the real. All right, give me your thoughts, your takes, hit the like, the subscribe, the bell, raise a new video, wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch off one another, and don't be telling me about no whack, racist ESPN and fake crocodile tears. I ain't with it.